Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be making a pie, a lemon meringue pie. We're going to be making the pie from scratch. Well, not from scratch, but from these two boxes here. Okay guys, when we make the pie we're probably going to be scratching a lot. Because my cat seems to be really bothering me right now. And I'm allergic to him. Oh, there he is. So I'll give him a temptation. You like that? So to make the pie, we're going to first have to start off with our dough, which is this Dr. Ecker Sheriff Pie Crust. So here's the nutritional facts, the ingredients, and the baking chart. And here's the instructions how to make it. To me it looks pretty complicated because you have to use a knife, but I think I'll be able to tackle this. Should be done in a few minutes making this. Let me get to it guys. So I poured the mix into my mixing bowl. I'm gonna add about five tablespoons of cold water and four tablespoons of butter. So I added my butter and the ice cold water and now I'm ready to mix it. So I mix everything together and as you guys can see this is my uh, ball of dough which is going to be my pie crust as soon as I roll it out into this pie pan. So I lightly floured my counter and started rolling out the dough. So after rolling my pie dough I stuck it in my pie pan. It looks amazing. It looks just like a store would make. While I was uh, rolling my dough I also preheated my oven to 425. And when it's ready, I'm going to cook the dough for about 10 minutes. So now we're going to start with the pie filling for our... It's not a pizza, for our pie. And here's the nutritional facts and how to cook this pie. Okay, so I'm about to start my pie filling now. And as you guys can see, I separated two eggs. I have the yolks here and the whites over here. The whites going to be used for the meringue and the yolks for the pie filling. So I added one third cup of water, ice water that was, to the two egg yolks and I added the mixture, pie filling mixture, which kind of looks like uh, lemon gravy right now. So I just added two cups of uh, hot water. I'm going to stir it until it starts bubbling and when it bubbles I'm going to quickly add some butter and then this is pretty much done. Okay guys for the perfect meringue what you're going to need is an ice cold bowl. You're going to mix your eggs into it and then you're going to need some uh, sugar. Unlike peanut butter cookies you don't need happy ingredients here. You need everything to be nice and cold so it comes together perfectly. Okay guys, so my meringue starting to look meringue, if you guys can see that. When you guys mix meringue, I recommend you get in one of these uh, electric mixers. I once made meringue by hand using a whisk and it took me probably uh, two and a half hours to get it how I liked it. So the pie crust is all cooked and cooled down, now we're going to start adding our ingredients. So we just added the pie filling, the lemon pie filling, and it's starting to look like a pie. So I was a good boy today, so I get to lick all this off, guys. That's going to be good. So we added the meringue, and now we're about to cook it for about 5 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. So the pie's all done. It looks amazing. If you look at that, would you guys look at that? It looks amazing. You let it cool for a bit, then cut into it and let you guys know how it tastes. As you guys can see, I cut myself a piece of the pie. It took a few bites, and I have to say this pie is a 10 out of 10. I'm not just saying that because I made it. It tastes pretty good. 